Hey ho everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today uh, we are unboxing Mattel Creations exclusive fashion photo PJ. Isn't she cute guys? Look at her. Look at that face. She's so cute. We're trying a new camera today, so. Anyway, here she is. Here's the box. Here's the art on the box. Super cute. Fashion photo PJ. Barbie signature. Here's sparkling jewelry. Different costume. Silver bodysuit. Mix and match. Some more art in the back. Here we go, let's get her out. The thing I love best about these Reach Pro Reduction dolls is that they're so easy to get out of the box. That just slid right out. So here she is. Oh, one of her cards fell out, apparently. Let's just go ahead and take those out. Her little photographs. So here's one. It's her wearing her, her skirt overlay as a cape. And here's her wearing her, let's see, her overlay as a skirt. open in the front. And this is her wearing her skirt closed in the back. And try to get it out without ruining it. As I almost fail here. And this is her superhero costume, I'm pretty sure. Silver bodysuit with the a cape. Alright. So the first thing I'm noticing is that she doesn't come with a camera. Um, the old one came with a camera. It's kind of a bummer. All right, let's get her out. There's no real artwork on the inside of this box, so I'm not gonna worry about, sorry, about saving it. I'm just gonna rip her out. All the really cute artwork is on the outer box. So, just gonna... shoes off to get her out of the little foot clamps. Alright. These are so nice compared to like, uh, occasionally I'll buy a holiday Barbie and it'll take like three hours to get out of the box. These repro ones are super nice. Okay, trash. Here she is. Looks like her stand is a teal color. This one is clipped on, but 
but it is stuck. We're gonna do a little She's like really tied onto her necklace and her bodysuit. There we go. Alright, she's free. Get her out of on her stand. Oops. Never understand these stands. They never fit. Like they always dangle. Don't get it. Like she is like half an inch off the ground. Like there's no way she's making it. Maybe if I put it on the other way. Nope, even further. So that stand is not gonna work. We'll just lean her against the wall for now. Get her skirt out. Get all this trash out of the way. Yeah, her stands, it's kind of a fail. Her outfit's pretty cute, so it feels nicer than the original, <laughs> which, oh, and this green, this green feels nice. This green is as much softer than the other colors. They feel very different. Be careful when you're taking it out of the box. They have these little tiny, I don't have scissors right here, but they have little tiny plastic stays. Sorry, let me, if you can see that. So you don't want to tear them out and accidentally rip this tool. So let's take off our little overskirt. Take a look at our outfit underneath. So here's our little pants. Silver, with, or this um, metallic -y blue. Here are her shoes. They're, they fall off very easily. I mean, like, I can just tug them off and they fall off. I mean, they stay on if you're just, like, waving her on, but if there's any pressure. Let's see. I mean, here's her bodysuit. The pants are just pull-ons with elastic. Here's her bodysuit. Snaps in the back with um, plastic snaps. Let's take a look. So she does have some blue fuzz on her, but it looks removable. Let's look, look at her screening. My light's a little crazy here. Screening is really pretty, very simple, very 80s. In the promo pictures, I felt like her her screening, her eyebrows were a little wonky, but in real life, her actual, I think, feel like her eyebrows are beautiful. I think she's perfect. Hmm. Her hair is, has some product in it, um, but it looks like at the top, you can feel it's really shiny. Her jewelry is sparkly. It's got a blue stone in it and then a same with the necklace. She's got click legs. I do enjoy a good click leg. But guys, you know what I'm thinking? Guys, you know what would make her even fashion photo more fabulous? I'm thinking a made to move body. Let's see what we got. So I have this. It's, it's 
not a bad match. A little pale. This made to move, which is also a little pale. Hmm. All right. I don't think any of my girls that I have currently are a very good match. But we're going to go with this one. It's not a great match, but it's an okay match. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay. All right. To prepare for head swapping, I am going to go ahead and remove all of her... Um, our PJ's jewelry. Ooh, her ring does not want to come off. Actually, I'm gonna her leave, we'll leave her ring on. It's not gonna get in the hot water. But it, especially like the earrings um, and her necklace, anything that might get in the hot water. Um, because if it can melt in hot water, it might melt. So, taking off her necklace. Taking off her earrings. Okay. I did end up actually taking off her cute little ring because her new body does not have ring hole so I'm going to put both dolls in a large ziploc bag and I'm going to squeeze out all the air like so okay, guys now I have a bowl of really hot water I'm going to take my you can see how hot it is because, actually, let me get it in focus. The bag is starting to steam. And I'm going to submerge my dolls in water. And I want to get all of their heads in, so. So. I am just squeezing her head to see how hard it is. So, okay, so PJ is definitely ready. She, she's very squishy. I'm gonna pull PJ out. I'm gonna put Made to Move back in. Be careful of water. I'm gonna see how sh how PJ's doing. So, I'm gonna I don't know if you can see. Let me get my shadow out of the way. But right, right along here, there's a plastic seam line where the body connects. You want to make sure that you're holding that, so you're supporting that line. So you don't want the you don't want the, there's a disc inside, like a, a ball joint that's in this, in this neck. You want to make sure that's supported, that's supported so that way it doesn't pop out. So you want to squeeze the neck along this because if you let this wobble, it can chip the neckline. So I'm going to pull it straight out. Just sort of wiggle it. So, as you can see, I pulled it so that you can see the, the disc. And I leave pressure, remove the pressure. So now it's like half in and half out. Now inside there's, oop, lost the camera. And the camera. So now what's inside is there's two. So it, it makes, there's, so on the disc, then there's a, a stick and then it has two forks on top. So now we're just pulling it from the forks, but the forks are pretty bendy. So if you just do it fast, the, the forks will kind of just pull out. So we're gonna pull straight out just really fast. Oh, they don't 
don't want to pull. So I'm, I'm adjusting to make sure that I'm keeping this, my fingers on supporting this side, especially on this very edge of this neck knob or the neck. So that way I don't break it because it can't get another one. And these get bent, they're fine. They don't, they don't matter. And if honestly, like if you get real worried about it and you can't, um, you can't, you get worried and you just really can't get them out, you can go in and clip them. I don't need to, I don't ever do it. I feel like I, the doll head is a little more secure and there's a little bit more mobility with them in there, but it could just be my feeling really. So now she is removed from her head. Removing uh, heads, dolls from heads c does come with some amount of risk. If there is any amount of like uh, weakness in this, in this seam line, you will expose it. That's why I always say support this neck and the further that you release, make sure you're really squeezing that tight to support that joint. Um, you can damage your doll. Like in this case, they are just gonna let her hold her head for now and check our girl. She's been dangling out, so there's we need to hold her in. Made to moves next are a little bit different. They don't have the prongs on top, but they have a really long neck knob. Their neck knob is about like this, oops, behind the camera. Their neck knob is about like this long. It's so ridiculous. And she's got a really short head actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So hopefully I don't have to trim it. We'll see, we'll see. All right, let's see. Oh, now we're ready to go. So I'm gonna... Be careful when you're taking the doll out of the bag. Sometimes hot water gets in the bag and it makes, you can burn yourself, so. All right, same kind of deal. We're gonna move the hot water and get at a good angle for the camera. All right. And I'm gonna find the seam line, which is in the same spot. So I'm gonna support her, her neck right here. All right, so I'm supporting her neck. I'm gonna squeeze her head and I'm gonna pull, <laughs> kind of rock it. So what I'm looking for is getting this, this, this round disc through the flange of her neck. So I'm gonna pull kind of straight. There's the first half is popped. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And so now I want to work on the back. There we go. Now I'm just going to pull straight. Huh. Okay. Interesting. She has, so she's an older made to move body. Oops, I lost my, okay. So she has the two prongs. That's good news. Um, now I don't have to worry about the really long neck knob. Good to know. Huh. Okay. All right, so now we're just gonna stick her head back on this body. This part is the easy part. So this is not a great color match, as you can see, but it's not terrible. Oop. So I'm just wiggling it on. Sort of put it on too far and then kind of wiggle it back up. Sort of put it on too far and then I kind of pull it up to get those, those little prongs past the flange. And so now she's good. Here she is. It is, like I said, it's not a great color match, but it's not terrible. It's like not the worst I've ever seen. Her head is a little smaller. So she's got a little bit of squeak, but it's fine. I'll take a squeak over with really, but she sticks her spots. And now, look at that. Now we really can fashion it up. 
so many photos. All right, let's get her into her new outfit. Okay, here she is on her new made to move body. Um, now that she is a little bit taller because the made to move body that I use, she now almost fits on her stand. Uh, here she is in the jumpsuit. Her shoes are a little bit bigger now and they didn't really fit on the other body. Um, but like the little straps keep them in, her in, but she's fallen off the back. So uh, if that annoys you, then they, you might want to find some different shoes. But otherwise the jumpsuit fits. Um, she doesn't have the same, same up top action as she did in the vintage body. Um, let's go ahead and try on her, her, clearly since this is just a wrap, that's going to fit, but let's try on her skirt, which she has yet to wear. So I'm going to take off the shoes just to make it easier. So this is the skirt. I will tell you that getting um, clothes on this made to move body versus the sticky legged vintage type body, so much easier. Getting it over her hips is a little bit of a trial just because she is a little made to move body is a little hippie, but it seems to be okay. I'm just trying to get it so it doesn't bunch up the bodysuit. We have a little stay from the packaging. I'm going to pull down the, here we go. Her, um, pull back a little. Her dress on, her skirt. Let's try it, give her a little cape action. So this um, particular um, look doll is the silver jumpsuit look doll with the red hair. So I don't know what number that is, but and if you need a replacement, a replacement camera. Um, the newest, the newest version of Mini Brands Fashions has a really good replica of it, actually. Um, or, well, not a replica, but has a really good camera. Come here. Here's it in red. They also have it in black. I only have the red one, though. So, if you want to pose her with one. The jumpsuit, I don't know. The jumpsuit's a little, like I said, a little bit baggy in the top. I don't hate it. For the amount of posability, though. Right. Um, if you're comparing her to the original, here's she doesn't come with a camera. Um, she doesn't fit her stand, which is a little odd. I mean, I don't use these stands anyway, but like, why include it if she's not going to fit on it? Um, her outfit's pretty pretty on point, to be honest. Um, her outfit is pretty good. Uh, it feels much like the original. the The material feels right. Um, the, the bodysuit feels right, the pants feel right, and they match. Um, it feels very, very right. The body is, I mean, I mean, it has click legs, so that's nice. I like click legs. Um, and it has the rubberized legs, so that's nice. Uh, the vintage did not have molded underpants. So that's a little bit annoying as, from my point of view, like, I just, I would prefer it didn't. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Other than that, um, I think it's a pretty cute doll. 
I think um, she's adorable. Uh, I know there was a lot of complaints about her screening in the in the promo pictures, but I think whatever it is, they fixed it because she looks pretty darn cute to me. So um, hopefully they come out with more because having them already be sold out is a bummer. So all right, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, especially if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks, guys.